Greetings, everybody. Uh, Chaplain Bob here, Live the World Ministries. You know the deal. For uh, news, well, I well, I just came off a two-week uh, timeout from uh, you know who tube and uh, and fascist book also. Well, I've got another two weeks on fascist book, but um, uh, I am going to start posting news, the like the news I did on the community page. I'm going to start posting that to um, that group called G, and then there's an A, and then there's a B. And I maybe I'll leave a link or something in the uh, comments pinned to the top. Also, um, new videos are going to be on World. And then there's the Truth. And then I'm going to make new videos on those two things. Uh, you know, I used to have around, I think it was 14,500 or 15,000 subs and then one day um it was less than five thousand i lost ten thousand subs in one day no i didn't make a bunch of people mad and they unsubscribed no i had people write me and say hey i got unsubscribed from you what bob why why did you uh unsubscribe me and i'm like oh, i didn't do that but i know who did and uh, this was years ago. But uh, anything that's even remotely controversial is going to go on another platform, if you will. Because I want to keep this channel up as long as possible. So... I've done a couple new vids, and they're on the new place. Uh, one of them I dare not put... Well, actually, actually, all the ones that uh, you-know-who uh, deleted from this channel, I put on the other place. And I've posted a couple of new ones that have never been on anywhere, and they're there also. So I've been building my channel there, and because uh, Bright Eon is worthless. Uh, they deleted 242 of my videos. I remember that number. And uh, BitChute is now uh, muting the audio on certain topics. You know, it, uh, it's a certain topic that rhymes with news or immigration. Yeah. So, Brighteon and BitChute's no good. Uh, there's yet to be nowhere to go. I mean, f almost this August will be five years when I put out a video called Internet Censorship is Coming. It is because the um, Internet body used to, uh, that controlled the Internet, of which the U.S. created, by the way, um, Al Gore, if you listen to him, but um, they handed control of the internet over to the United Nations. So, yeah, so I knew that was coming. But uh, honestly, uh, about 15 years ago, I had a video, I mean, not a video, but a uh, website for Goths, G O T H S. Uh, at the time, my youngest daughter was kind of into goth. You know, they would wear all dark clothes and all that kind of weird stuff. Think uh, Marilyn Manson. Think Alice Cooper. For those of you old folks. Hey, I resemble that remark. Um, but um, Google delisted the website, which was like, it was always on the first page. And depending upon the keywords, it was number one or number three. And I was getting 
oh, a couple hundred emails a day, two to three hundred a day. It had well over a quarter million um, views last I checked. And then one day the listing was gone. And it was a, you know, Christian evangelism for the Goths. And a lot of them were into vampirism. So I told them about um, John chapter 6, where Jesus said, Except ye drink of my blood and eat of my flesh, ye have no life in you. So I didn't tell them who it was that said that until, you know, the very end. And I told them about the evil ones that didn't want them to know about this eternal life. Of course, what does Hollywood do? They, you know, turn it into a vampire, you know. Dracula, I want to talk your blood, blood. That's Hollywood for you. But there's two things, two things that churches hide. Well, they're not really churches. They're, they work for the enemy, but they call themselves churches. There's two things that the enemy does not want you to know. That if you truly are in Christ, that you are the actual children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Israel. God divorced Israel in John uh, Jer Jeremiah 3.8. With the promise to remarry Israel in Jeremiah 31, 31. God didn't divorce Judah, but he did divorce Israel. And then in Galatians 3, 29 tells you that, And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. It doesn't say anything about spiritual seed, lying pastors, uh, especially the Baptist persuasion. It says, ye are, then are ye. Doesn't say you become. No, you are. They absolutely hate that. And then they also hate the idea that uh, who is the enemy? And that is what my next video or videos is going to be about. See, that's why they uh, that's why they hate the doctrine of election. You know, did God choose the apostles? Or did the apostles walk up to Jesus and tap him on the shoulder and say, uh, hey, Jesus, I want to be your apostle. And Jesus like, well, you know, hey, nobody else has uh, wants to, so yeah, I guess okay. Now, Jesus said, have I not chosen you 12? And one of you is a devil. Speaking of Judas Iscariot, by the way. Did Jesus pick us or did we pick him? Oh, it's a little bit of both. But if Jesus doesn't pick you, you're not going to pick him. They absolutely do not like that. They want you to think, oh, well, you know, anybody from anywhere can choose Jesus. Well, can the Canaanites choose Jesus? And just remember something. Those... People will tell you that I think it's Simon was called a Canaanite. But was he racially a Canaanite or did he live in the land of Canaan? You know, just because I moved to New York City and I get a New York City driver's license doesn't make me a New Yorker, does it? No. No. But ask him to show you us. The Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall everything be established. Show me a second verse where it says Simon is a Canaanite. I don't think they can do it. So if you can't show me two verses, and the, then it's probably not true. And by the way, they always love to show you 
the exception and not the rule. But we're going to cover who the enemy is and where they came from. Very important. I guess you could entitle the news video, Eve, the first initiate into the mystery religion. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Um, I might post some news on the community page, but it's going to be of a non-controversial nature. But um, the new the new stuff's going to be on the G, and then give me an A, and then give me a B. Remember that in high school, the cheerleaders, and then uh, the world has truth yeah that's where the new videos are going to be and i'm not going to pull any punches anymore i was pulling punches on tube to keep the channel from getting blocked or deleted or whatever but uh i'm not doing that on the new place and those of you if you trust me dig into what I'm going to show you of the second thing that churches hide and do not want you to know. They do not want you to know who the enemy is and where they came from and why they have no chance of salvation whatsoever. Remember, God told Israel to go into the land of Canaan and kill everything that breathed. He didn't say, go in there and, and, and teach them about the love of Jesus. I love them. I want them to be saved. No, he said, kill them all. And then they'll tell you, well, you know, that was that Old Testament God. He, he was that cruel, evil, mean God. And now we have Jesus. And Jesus is that loving New Testament God. But the Bible teaches Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. In Amos, it says, I am the Lord, I change not. But uh, if you want to know why they are always trying to push us into degeneracy and sin, may I suggest you read the book of jo uh, Judges? Yeah. It said, and Israel did evil in the eyes of the Lord. Yeah, I'm paraphrasing. And he sold them into the hands of... The Canaanites, the Philistines, the whoever, this one, that one, yeah, as punishment. Well, guess what, people? God's had it with this country. He's had it. You know, when I was born in the 50s, yeah, I'm old, America was a fairly safe place to live. And then in the 60s, it was sex, drug, and rock and roll. And then in the 70s, you had the disco, where people would go to the bars, and guys and, and girls would meet each other in a bar and then go home and fornicate with each other, not even knowing each other more than a few hours. And, you know, maybe a week later, don't even remember the name of the person they had sex with that night. And, uh, yeah. And then in the 80s, more, more of the same. Drugs, witchcraft, 90s, 2000s. And now you got Harry Potter on witchcraft stories about wizards and witches that outsell the Bible. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, Lord's about had it. It's all coming to an end. Lord's going to bring judgment upon the West. He already is. But they're not going to acknowledge him. They're not going to repent. Not, not for the most part. And there's only going to be a remnant wakes up. You know, my guess, my hope is that when the um, true Israel is being persecuted and killed by those that the 
so-called churches claimed were the chosen people, that some of them will wake up to who they actually are and do the things that the Bible says. See, the Bible tells Israel to do certain things, but the churches, so-called, explain it away. Well, we're not Israel, so that doesn't apply to us. We're New Testament Christians, so, so don't read the Old Testament. Of course, they don't read the New Testament either. So, you know, when you got a churchgoer that doesn't even bother to read the Bible, you know, as long as they got a ball game on the TV or a soap opera or whatever, a burger and a beer, they're, uh, they're ignorant of their situation totally. So my new stuff is going to be, you know where, and uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to hide. I'm not going to pull any punches anymore. I'm going to come out swinging. And that's a boxing thing, by the way. Not, uh, not, uh, no reference to, uh, how would you say, uh, wife swapping or anything like that. So, all righty, everybody, take care and uh, keep me in mind on the new platforms. In Jesus' name, amen.